So let's say someone has made a bold move to come from wherever to LA and New York, one of these major cities, but then they've been here several years and now they're in a new kind of rut, new kind of comfort zone. Yeah, I'm going out, I'm submitting, fill in the blank of whatever it is they're submitting, but it's habit driven and it's not really going anywhere and they feel stagnant. But to everyone else, hey, they're here in this big city or wherever and they're supposedly working, they're supposedly getting stuff out there. How do you shake that up? And I know I'm being a little bit vague, but let's just say they're here. It's not vague. Okay. If, if you want to learn to play tennis, find yourself a pro. That's the game. That's how you improve. The problem most creatives have when, you know, they, 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 they come to LA, they come to New York, they go wherever they are, and they, what do they do? Most of them learn bad habits. Why? Because they're learning and mimicking like people around them. I'm an actor, I'm following what other actors are doing. I'm, I'm asking them, I'm learning from them, and yet they're not at the top of the totem. Same with writers, same with producers, same with, it doesn't matter, human beings. Writers, as one example, um, I get query letters every day, blind query letters. Dear so-and-so, it could be my name, it could be creative executive, it could be my name misspelled, it could be anything. Dear so-and-so, log line, short description, you know, can I send you a script? I'll sign a release. Signed, John. That's what I get repeatedly all day long in my inbox. There is not one lick of research. There is not one lick of anything personal, like why is this the writer, the only writer who could have written this story? Why was it so compelling that they chose this out of all the stories in one's imagination. Why did they choose to send it to me? Now, I don't want to receive the agony and the ecstasy as a letter, but something, a drop, a kernel, something that stands out and makes them, makes me think, makes me react, makes me wonder about this. Um, but they don't. I can promise you not even 1% do what I'm describing. So this is what writers learn from other writers. It could be actors learning from other actors, etc. They learn the habitual, tried and true, day-to-day -day protocol, which is usually very unsuccessful. The, the ROI, the return on investment in sending blind query letters is going to be horribly frustrating. If you're a business, you'd be bankrupt. So why do it? You do it because this is what other people are doing. You need to associate with, with more successful people. And you need to think about it differently. If you were a fashion designer and you took that approach, you focus on your craft, focus on your craft, focus on your craft, and send out letters saying, here's my designs, aren't I great? You'd never have a brand. You have to think in terms of business. You have to think in terms of um, what, what more could I do that others aren't doing as opposed to what they are doing? How do I stand out? Se separating yourself out from the herd is definitely the name of the game. And anyone who's invested all that blood, blood, sweat, and tears, that sort of soul equity, investing all that time writing 120 or 10 pages, whatever, of, of story, and rewriting it till it's just so, that they want to share their wares with the world. Now they're so proud of this. They should, they should invest a like amount of time in figuring out how to market and how to be a business person and how to reach out to people, how to do things differently than all their peers. Like that's a great measurement. Am I doing what everyone else is doing or am I being somehow putting myself out into the world and speaking of myself to the right people in ways that matter? You mentioned fashion and had me thinking of Diane von Furstenberg and her wrap dress and how it was this dress that no one had really ever seen it and it fit every body type. It made every body type look good. So I just, I don't know, you're talking about fashion, so have me thinking about that. Um, okay. yeah, how many times do we see artists, Steve Jobs, Johnny Cash, you know, I mean, Lady Gaga, you know, I mean, it's, there's a million ways to stand out.